So what you'd want to do is cut it into patches and take your patches and lay them in and make sure that they're kind of touching each other. So see how I've got that laid in and all the seams are sort of together? Yeah. My name is Jill Sullivan and I am the um, Pottery Lab instructor for the Halifax Regional School Board. Well this program is at St. Catherine's School but it's a program that's for everybody, all schools within the board. So teachers book it for class trips and they bring their students to come um, and work with the It kind of feels like regular clay but mixed with mud. Squishy and Smooth. I'm doing a smooth walk that's wet. You have to like scratch it up. And then you have to put this like gooey stuff. Put that on there for it to stick and then you can like stick it on. It's a program that's been in existence since the 70s. The Pottery Lab used to be at St. Pat's Alexander, and then when that school closed, they moved it here. And I'm so glad that it's continued throughout the years, and that it's it's been a successful program since then, and hopefully for years to come. It's quite fun. I never really got all, got working with all these nice tools and stuff. I usually just sculpted just with my hands. I feel a little scared of how it's going to turn out. When it gets big, yeah, but like also a little happy. Make sure there's no cracks. You can't see any cracks. I am like, yeah. the camera. What was your mug for? My dad, because he drinks a lot of coffee. <laughs> Each session is about two hours. The first session they come and they make pieces, usually two or three per session. And I give them some tips and some ideas. And then two weeks later, after the pieces are fired, uh, they come back and they glaze their work. And, um, and then I fire them again and the students get to take their pieces home and keep them for a lifetime. It, it's the kind of experience that depend, doesn't matter what level a child is at, they all have success, and so they are able to be tactile and to, to try a new skill. It gives them a chance to kind of uh, be creative in a way that they've never really experienced before, and teachers um, see a different side to their students than they haven't seen before, um, and it gives them a little taste of something that they might want to kind of pursue in the future. Having fun looking at other people's creations and kind of getting ideas of what to make. Uh, I often see kids, um, especially kids that, that struggle in the classroom, kids that are really energetic. They're focused on it. They're able to kind of work with their hands. Kids that, that are shy, that come out of their shell, um, will ask me for help, and often I'm not speaking in the classroom at all. And I see kids helping each other in the skills that they have. They have to share the materials. They have to kind of work together side by side. What do you envision for this point? I feel like it would be for like type of like chips or something maybe. It's so rewarding because I see instant success and the kids are happy when they're here and it's exciting for them. I'm making a kit if I can. A it's just fun making it, and it's just really fun to be here. You know, it's an experience that they all remember, and um, and they've they've all enjoyed, and that makes me happy. Yeah, I look forward to coming every day.